Okay, people, we're back to reading the Time Warp Trio number 13. I know I haven't read this in a while, but we're going to start on the first page of chapter 5. We followed the high priest out of the stone walled ball court. The other priest followed us. The rest of the crowd joined in behind them. We were a regular victory parade down Broadway. Broadway? Broadway. Yeah, Broadway. Okay. You know, like the Lion King, the musical. Look at these crazy on the wall. Said Sam, a headless guy with snakes coming out of his neck. Okay. That's blood, said a priest with a ponytail. He's a. Well, he was captain of the losing team. Now, that's what I call sudden death overtime, said Fred. We walked out of the ring ball court into the city in the middle of the jungle. Giant stone pair, a giant stone pyramid with steps on each, on every side, rose in front of us. <sighs> a small, what ma? I'm re Anyways, I'm back, people. I gotta find the page I was on. Where I was at. Okay, uh. Oh, we walked out the rainbow court into a city in the middle of the jungle. <clears throat> oh, yeah. A giant stone pyramid with steps on each side rose in front of us. A small red stone template stood, stood next to it. A long covered walkway of, uh. Hundred giant stone columns led to another building. Columns led to another building. Okay. And every wall, column, and building seemed to be covered with carvings of snakes, birds, cats, and people covered red, yellow, green, and blue. The town square in the center of the building was filled with people buying and selling stuff. Clay pots and dishes, food, cloth, animal skins. It looked like a farmer's market and a state fair all rolled into one. The high priest led our pyramid right through the middle of everything. I noticed people looking away from him, but they stared at us. We must... Have looked like aliens from another plant to them. I know they look like aliens to us. A bunch of guys about our age ran along a side us. Um okay. Uh, okay. Ran along the side, a kid in a spotted animal skin waved, nice shot. We waved back. We were celebrities for once. This looked like a time warp where we were going to be the heroes instead of the punching bags. I smell food, said Fred. We parade past an old woman cooking tortillas and roasting three small birds over a fire. Tortilla? Three chicken burritos to go place of the fries that the high priest led us right up to the giant pyramid. We had to half run to keep up with him. Giant stone snake heads guarded either side of the uh, uh, pyramid. I'm guessing he's going to be as a picture. And I can't show pictures because, well, this is like an audiobook thing. I'll try my best, okay, people? This is like a small fucking thing right here. This fucking picture, right? Here we go. Okay, I'm trying my best. So this thing of the pictures is like an out of break, uh, a out of story little moment. Now back to the story. Um, fuck, god damn. Bottom of the steps. Uh, I don't like reading, but I like reading at the same time. The crowd is stared next to the snake heads. We climb the steps with the priest. And finally, collapsed in the doorway of a little stone room at the very top. I felt like I was going to throw up and pass out and burn all 
and burn up all at the same time. Oh my god. Oh, now I want to feel who, what this person is feeling. Man, said Fred, nothing like climbing a thousand steps to get our reward. Nine, 91, said Sam. So, Puffy, it's the calendar thing. Four sides of 91 steps. 91 plus 91 plus 91 plus 91 equals 364. This last step on top equals 364 for the number of days in the, in the, the year. We looked out over the whole sea in, my, in miles and miles of green jungle. So we're standing at the top of a giant... My, may I... Calendar, said Fred. No, I said... Freaky, said Fred. The high priest stole, stood... At top of the step, he looked down at the people at the bottom and raised his hand. And I'm about to get freakier, so Sam, watch this. They figured out some way to build this pyramid. So every word the high priest says from up here travels down the steps. He doesn't even have to shout. And the priest spoke. These strangers come to us like an unexplained star in the sky. The people nodded below. Sam was right. They hear a word. It is our duty as your priest to read the stars and keep the universe in balance. The high priest held out one hand, an another priest in oh, fancier earrings. <laughs> Already did. He had a quick in and out hurting, but I gotta keep on reading. Okay. One, the high priest had a, one hand, another priest in fancy earrings and a necklace put on a stack of thin boards covered with drawings and numbers in his hand. Our prize, I said, it must be the Maya version of the book. I can't believe it, said Sam. The high priest opened the book and showed it to me, and we braced ourselves for nothing happened. No green time travel. Mm -hmm. I figure we probably had to hell to get the time. Check it out, the same dot in line numbers, just like you wrote. The high priest held out the carted boards that fold into a book. The book said that three strange ball prayers will come. The high priest. They will show us strange ways to turn another page. They will be the perk for the best harvest ever. The crowd gave a giant a who? What? Huh? Hang on. Oh. Hey, wait a minute. I said, how do you know it says that? Yes, it says it looks like. It says snake, bird, bird, monkey, guy, bird to me. You're just making this up. So give us the book. Fred made the shot. I we made a deal. We had a deal. Fred made a move to grab the book. Three. Prince will rip home out our arm. And spoon the high priest. No one crushes. I'm the one true high priest. Chug a bucket. <laughs> what the fuck? I can't. I'm gonna offend people with this book, but I need it still. Now I know we were in a life or death situation, and I know we shouldn't laugh. Sam knew we should. Friend knew we should, but we all laughed. Did you just say your name was Cockapoo? Yeah. Just for Cockapoo. He. Said all the priests bowling lower and lower as the hype got madder and madder. We knew we shouldn't, but we laughed again. <laughs> Just, I also, I also laughed when I tried to pronounce it. <sighs> anyway. Chapter 6. Hang on. How many pages are there? 1, 2, 
Okay, 39 pages are left. <sighs> Anyways, chapter 6. 15 minutes later, Fred and Sam and I weren't laughing. We were tied to a tree in the jungle. The tree stood. Okay, I'm going to have to take a break soon. But anyway, the tree stood next to a green, blue... A blue green pool of water. Who of water? Well, that seemed to be a lot of white sticks on the ground. I had a bad feeling that the white sticks were actually bones. Kakapuha. Learn his large face up close. Now we, now he looks happy. The sun goes down. Day becomes night. Night is the jaguar tomorrow. It's the jaguar. Tomorrow, if you are still here, we will throw you in the scare well. We have got to stop laughing at those people's names. Sam Crack looked up into the trees. Something was moving up there. Or maybe you will give yourself to the snake. Crack and his priest walked over to the pool of water. Did he just say snake? Said Fred. Tell me he didn't say snake. I really do not like snakes. I'm so sorry, Fred. Fred looked up panic. Every droop branch suddenly moved like a snake. Like a snake. Look like a snake. We will come back for you at the first return of the sun tomorrow. Sicko. Then they were gone. The bird, bug, and monkey corpse. Start up in the jungle again. We tug against the vine ropes, holding us tight to the tree. But we weren't going anywhere. What the fuck am I singing? God damn it. The sunlight slowly dimmed in the thick jungle vines. And thick. Never thought I'd hear someone talk to say that. Or mention that and talk about the jungle, but anyways, the thick jungle vines and leaves. How thick are they? God <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, I'm too much dirty minded. Anyways, um, yeah, somehow dropped something dropped from a tree behind us with a meaty thump, meaty, a meaty thump. I'm gonna get banned for sure. I'm gonna get banned on anything. God damn it. Fred Twitch. Sam, you don't you think there are real snakes out here big enough to eat us, do you? You don't think there are real snakes out here big enough to eat us, do you? The giant is usually about 15 feet long, but long specimen, but longer specimen up to, up to, to, to 20. Five feet have been reported to Sam, and I believe the anaconda is native to his area. Something behind us rustled the dead leaves on the ground. The sunlight faded. I strained my eye up to look in the bushes. I saw something move towards us. Sam, what was he? What has yellow fur with kind of black circle with, with spots, I guess? I know the old joke is and it's not funny. And that's not funny. And that, and this being tied up to a tree is not that funny anymore either. Now would be a good time for one of your m magic tricks, Joe. Like, do something with this rope. The yellow spot moved. The yellow spot is something moved behind a tree. A tail struck out. I'm not joking, I said. Would you like, are you saying green with black? Oh, uh, Sam said. Yago fur with circles and spots sounds more like a jaguar. That sounds about why I said the jaguar crouched behind the nearest bush. It crossed the spray and make a bloody end to the time warp trio. I said, I, I, said, I always did think some of your jokes were funny. And Fred, that was a great shot. I thought this is the end, but at least Fred won't have to worry about snakes. Oh my gosh. <laughs>
Poor guy. Ugh. Try Okay. So. Now that's the info now. I need a break.